I lifted my Forster XT over a month ago, and I am so sorry that it's taking so long to give you my impressions about the lift. So let's get into it. First, I have to say, I am so glad I finally lifted my Subaru. I'm very happy about the increase in capability, but the most important thing is I get to do what I've been doing just better. Aw oh, crap, I don't mean burst and tires, I mean driving up Rocky Mountains. Is lifting your Subaru two inches, is it all positive? Or are there trade-offs? You need to know that there's gonna be some trade-offs. Please take everything I say with a grain of salt. I am just an observer. I got my Forrester XT lifted and I'm noticing a few things about my ride quality. So uh, first thing is my handling is diminished. I noticed that um, steering inputs are just a little bit lagged, but no big deal. It, it's just something to adjust to. So second thing is gonna be NVH. I noticed that I have a much harsher ride when I hit like a little bump. A little bump that my OEM suspension would just soak in. Um, now with the lift, it, uh, it's much more jarring and harsh. Okay, so the ride no longer feels like it's on OEM suspension. It feels, it definitely feels aftermarket. Now that it's been about three weeks since I've been driving uh, with a lift, I'm getting used to it. The third and last thing that I notice about the lift is something that people have not been talking about. I kind of feel let down that the uh, community hasn't really put this issue um, to light and this issue doesn't have that much attention. And that is this weird phenomenon called wobbling upon acceleration. Um, you could call it wobbling, um, shaking, or binding, or something like that, but it's just, it's just weird. It doesn't feel right, and um, it definitely also affects uh, your NVH because let's say, you know, you're, you're driving, you, you're gonna make a, a right turn at a red light, so you stop, and then you go again. While you're making that turn in the middle of it, you're gonna get some wobbling because because at around like 15 to 20 miles per hour, the car wobbles. It's weird. So I am gonna show you some clips of people I've interviewed um, at the recent Mountain Rue Calico event that we did. It was just last week, last weekend, a few days ago, right? So listen to these interviews you'll see that half the people um, don't have problems at all, and the other half do.
Andrea, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, Andrea. So that means we got a call. Can we wait for the others to... Hello, Sandra. Hi. How's Hi. it going, John? Pretty good, pretty good. L the lift. Yes. What are your impressions of the lift? The has been fine. I haven't noticed any vibration, any wobble, anything weird at all. It's been great. Okay. This is Gabriel, hey. Wandering Forester. This is oh, actually mic. the microphone. Yeah. Hi. Testing, so, testing. Yeah, so Gabriel is a uh, Subaru Master Technician. He knows his shit. So, your take on handling? Is a lift, should a lift diminish some handling characteristics? Yeah, I mean, just the laws of physics. Yeah, laws normally. of physics, right? The center you, of gravity is a little bit higher. So, yeah, of course. it's normal for it to, you know, you get a little more body. And weight. I feel that. Yeah. You some do. people say that no. And some people say that it even handles better. Some people don't notice it. That's the thing. But yeah. 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 We're talking, okay. I mean, if we're talking physics, it's going to. Okay. Oh, okay. Good talk. Yeah. It's, a, like it's a microphone. Mic it's a great a microphone. How's your lift? Oh, it's, your lift, you know, Erica? it's super great. You know, I got yeah. like four inches. Um, um. And, and, <laughs> and it handles like a... Uh... It handles like a Maserati. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's great. So, okay. Maserati, because I got a Mazda. Ma so. oh. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, All so right, cool. Great. Cool. Excuse me, Mr. Darcevius. What's up, Hi, buddy? this is the mic. And oh. <laughs> oh, you wanted to drink it, didn't you? Oh, I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> it's an interview about lifts. So oh. when you lift that's your your Subarus, yeah, do you get answer? some kind of like wobble upon acceleration? Uh, no. Okay. Well, no, my uh, WRX has a forest struts, so it's good. And then the, I, this is the first time I run a lift on the STI, so I haven't had no issues with it. No issues. I Got also it. don't. I also baby that car, so. Yeah, and how much you lifted? Uh, two inches. That's two, inches. Two, two inches. So much. That's all. That's all. I think it's. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, Liana. Good morning. So, how has your handling changed since you got your lift? You know, I haven't noticed it. Uh, there could be a change. I'm gonna pay attention to it now. Now that I know that people are kind of bringing it up, um, I just don't notice little things like that because I know it's there. Then I'll look for it. Ah. Okay. Parker, what's up? <laughs> this is your monstrous legacy. Do you get the wobble? The you, torque you steer. Could, you could, I definitely get torque steer. It's not much. Uh, yeah. You actually, uh, it's just something I noticed, but it, it literally lasts from 18 to 20 miles an hour. I'm just like, I guess I'm just that anal about shit like Maybe that. Maybe I haven't noticed. Like, now, that, now that you said <laughs> that, I'm going to drive right now. It yeah, it's like two, it's two miles per hour, but it's just kind of weird, you know? Like, I don't have any loss of uh, speed. It just like kind of binds up and then it just goes. It's, it's like I'm going. Wait, and where did you get it installed here? Oh, neat. Oh, neat. This yeah. Oh, that's legit. why. No, <laughs> 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 oh, that's yeah, legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's he joking. Mine. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> no. Hey, Jason. What's up, dude? This looks like an excellent time to bother you for an interview. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> the Jameson microphone. Oh. Yeah. You can have some if you want. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay. So, what are your impressions of your lift? What are your experiences lifting your car? And, and again, you, you have two and a half in the front and three in the rear? I do. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, um, now how are, there, how are your driving dynamics? Uh, no, I think it handles just as well. Just as well, just as well, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I don't notice, I notice a little different, um, but not much. And uh, do you have a wobble upon acceleration? It doesn't last very long. There's but, a slight wobble at okay. between 20 and 23 miles an hour. Okay, I get mine at uh, 18 and 20. No, I just, yeah, I just get it like yeah. a slight Yeah, and it, there's no slowdown. There's no, no slowdown. Yeah. It just, you know, you're going and then it just like this, and you keep yeah, going. And, you and keep people, going. People that have, um, I've had people uh, drive it that have never driven before and they didn't notice it. 
You could do this in Spanish if you like. Hola. Uh, <laughs> We don't know what John's saying. You should just okay. take a swig. No, God. You're the lift master. Yeah, we, we do a lot of lifts. I wouldn't say lift master. Okay. <laughs> Some people have brought up wobble. What is causing this wobble? And is it typical? Are you talking about the wobble Upon, uh, in uh, the steering wheel? Or no, actually, when you take off? Actually, when you take off, I notice that it's only between 18 and 20 miles per hour for me. Yep. It's very short. It's like two miles per hour. It's just one of those things, I'm such an anal person that I just noticed it. I'm like, what was that? We have had a lot of them come with wobble. Um, and, and my we, we don't know if it's because the axles are at such an angle. It's causing mm -hmm. an imbalance in okay. the transmission and Turn axles. On. Get your hands in this thing oh, too. No, you're like good. You're... Um, but what we found that works is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Get your shaft out of my face! <laughs> this is a microphone. <laughs> Get over here, yeah. Oh, Get over here. You know what I was supposed to do with this? <laughs> um, what we found works is there's a company that makes a CVT insert. I heard about that. I've yeah. put them on several. I don't know if you've seen that Forester that just ran the Rebel Rally. No. We built her car. Um, well, lifted her car. We didn't do the, uh, the rest of it. But okay. We did the lift on it, and hers had a really bad wobble. And we tried. I tried new axles. I tried everything. I tried yeah. bringing. I tried even taking some of the lift down. Okay. I took king springs off and even lowered the lift in the front. Okay. It still had a wobble. So we put GoPros under the car, and you could see the transmission wobble as huh. soon as. It hits like it, that. Yeah, that, that, that two miles. Yeah, yeah, two miles per hour. We slid an insert in there. Yeah. Gone. Okay. The transmission rally insert, the, uh -huh. the Rally Tech one, or a different one? Well, Rally Tech makes one, and there's a guy on eBay that's he was the first one to do it because he actually figured it out, and everybody kind of like. Because I've been running it. the Rally Tech one for years. What now. what model oh, Forester, by the, the way? New CVTs. Oh. Uh, the new stuff. So it's my model Forester. Anything with a CVT, yeah. Got it. Okay. And it's, it's like thirty-two dollars, and he sends you three different hardness. Really? Soft, medium, and Mine super was hard. Forty dollars for one. I called him up and was like, "Hey, you guys used to sell these for twenty bucks." He's like, 40 bucks, and I'll send you both of them." <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy he does it. He does has his own like molding Pet, thing. Not make it has <laughs> <laughs> to. It's too funny. <laughs> He has his own, like, molding. It's almost like Harry Topper. We were going to have the talk right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut it off.